Hi, Jim Wagner here, and it's June 21st, 2023, Anno Domini. And today is the summer solstice, the longest day of the year. And I am standing here at the Dory Fishing Fleet. It's closed right now because it's uh, later in the afternoon, but normally it's bustling with fishermen selling their fish to uh, early morning uh, shoppers. And uh, this has been here since 1881. And I took this photo in 1981, and uh, I took it right from the Newport Pier in Newport Beach, California, United States. And as you can see, I'm here today, many, many years later, many decades later, and there is the beach. It hasn't moved at all. The water has not risen. And of course, there's a lot of government officials, uh, corporate uh, CEOs, a lot of uh, wicked people who are telling me that the ocean is rising and that if I don't deal with climate change right now, this is all going to be underwater. Well, to quote Chico Marx, are you going to believe me or your lying eyes? Meaning, uh, am I going to trust my own eyes? And I've been, I grew up here in Newport Beach. I went through to high school here, not far from here. And I am 60 years old. And I used to go out here and walk around and surf when I was, uh, you know, in my teens. And yet, there is the water there and it's not moving up. Yes, there could be tsunamis. Yes, sometimes there's storms that bring a surge up, but God is, established the limits of the coast. He's established the water line worldwide. Now, let me lead, read you a few scriptures to prove that God is true and men are liars. When I fixed my limit for it and set bars and doors, when I said, this far you may come, but no further, and here your proud waves must stop. That was written by Job. That was Job 38, 10 to 11. And that was written in 4,000 years BC, before Christ. How about another one? You have set a boundary that they may not pass over, that they may not return to cover the earth. Psalm 104, 9. That was written by King David. Again, the Old Testament, 1,000 years before Christ. How about another one from his son? When he strengthened the fountains of the deep, when he assigned to the sea its limit, so that the waters would not transgress his command, when he marked out the foundations of the earth. Proverbs 8, 28 to 29, King Solomon, 940 BC. And what's interesting in that first verse, when he strengthened the fountains of the deep, well, Science didn't even discover the fountains of the ocean, meaning fresh water coming up from the sea floor until modern submarines. So how did uh, King Solomon, who was almost a thousand uh, years before Christ, how would he know there was fountain in the deep from a little kingdom in what is today Israel? And here is the fourth and final scripture from Jeremiah 5.22, written about 600 BC. That's the time when the Babylonians destroyed Solomon's temple in Jerusalem. Do not fear me, says the Lord. Will you not tremble at my presence, who have placed the sand as the bound of the sea, by a perpetual decree that it cannot pass beyond it? And though its waves toss to and fro, yet they cannot prevail. Though they roar, yet they cannot pass over it. So there you have it. I'm not going to believe in man. I'm going to believe in God. And he wrote these things thousands of years ago. And with my eyes that do tell me the truth, ever since I was a youth, the ocean is not rising, nor is it going to. The Bible is true, and I'm going to believe in that. God bless you.